Hey guys, welcome back to Bruin Banter. It's a really exciting time for our team and actually the rest of NCAA gymnastics right now because this upcoming weekend is the start of the first round of NCAA championships. So uh, we're gonna be heading into what's also called regionals at Ohio State. But first, let me introduce you to my special guest of this week's show, Hallie Mazette. I actually don't even call her Hallie. I call her Gucci, which no one else calls her that, but she used to take pictures of me on the training table before practice and send me good morning texts every morning. Yeah, so I started doing that and then it turned into like, good morning, what's Gucci? She's my biggest fan. Number one. Some people would think that would be creepy, but I actually am really flattered that she's my biggest fan. Thank you. If you ask anyone, I'm, I'm not creepy, don't worry. Like, I'm, I'm a normal person. <laughs> Except when it comes to me and Beyonce. Basically. So does that mean that I'm on the same level as Beyonce? Is that what you're saying? I don't have an answer for that, but. Wow, I'm gonna take that as a yes. That's the nicest compliment I've ever received in my life. You're welcome. Wow. Well, last year, while she was busy sending me good morning texts, she also said that she wanted to be adopted into my family. I wanted to, like, be sisters with you well, and her, your sister. The way that it was is my parents said that they would adopt Danusha since her family lives overseas. Yeah. And also Alette because she has no other siblings. So I decided to be joined into right. that family too. And my, my sister Jessie was really cool about it and now every time she's like, oh, how are my sisters doing? Tell everyone what's really cool about this weekend. Oh, Jessie will be at our regional. I'm so excited. I've never really met her in person, but we're <laughs> friends on Instagram and Twitter and whatnot, so. She means she's never really met her. It means she's just <laughs> never met her. <laughs> She'll know who I am. So your Bruin Banter interview is towards the end of season. Mm -hmm. And looking back, what is one of the highlights of this season so far for you? I would definitely have to say um, starting off a little bit rough and then mm -hmm. finally like finding my rhythm and um, being determined to make the lineups every week because my body is not, you know, at 100% right now. Mm -hmm. And every time I get to compete is like a blessing to me because I, I don't have a lot of chances to train. We have regionals this weekend and then hopefully we'll be in the top two out of six teams which qualifies us to the NCAA championships mm -hmm. that's in Dallas and being a veteran now that you're a sophomore to the NCAA championships, what are you looking forward to most? I just loved competing there. I love competing on podium when I was elite. Um, I was always on podium. Can you explain what podium is? Podium is like a, wow, you, there's like stairs to it. I don't know, it's like a, a podium, I don't know. Ellie. What is it? Podium, it's like an elevated surface. Yeah, elevated surface. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit more like bouncy and it's like a stage and I love performing mm -hmm. so I love to be on stage. I thought you were going to say I love to be Beyonce. I love to be Beyonce. On stage. On stage. <laughs> <laughs> and our last meet was Pac-12s and the night before the competition each class of UCLA gymnasts had to perform the alma mater yes. for the coaches who were judging us mm -hmm. and they were going to pick the class that had the best performance and the requirements were um, I think you had to clarify every word um, do interpretive dance mm -hmm. um, sign language sign language which I know that well Sam. because I was the only one out of the entire team that did straight sign language yeah not correct sign language it was, just, did it. <laughs> it was just sign language your class, the sophomore class, and the junior class got into a heated debate over whose was better. The judges chose the sophomore class to win. So yeah. the juniors may have been a little, little sore losers. A little is not the correct word. They were very <laughs> sore losers. No one, no one from the junior class is here to stand up for themselves right now. I know. But Check out this video and you can see Hallie and Soph banter it out. For our alma mater challenge. Got really competitive. Yeah, especially this one right here. I to our alma mater. <laughs> she will conquer every bull <laughs> So it was really between us 
to really my group one. Sexy dog. <laughs> SDJ. <laughs> Do you want it? <laughs> We are actually the two-time champions two years in a row. Hail to our alma mater. But they, they lost. We they didn't cheated. cheat. So they cheated once by using Deanna. Deanna is our videographer. She travels with us everywhere. She's great. She can beatbox. She can sing. Mm -hmm. It was like almost inevitable that we had to use No, it her. wasn't inevitable. 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 like a rule like you had to use your class. Deanna is not in the class. Okay, but okay. whoever made up, they used background music and whoever made up that background music that they used was not a part of their junior that class. That doesn't count, this is a it real counts. person. Hail to the hills of Westwood. <laughs> but if excuse Deanna. Me, excuse me, we did not cheat. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. you. My sophomore class is gonna back me up. My sophomore class is backing me up because we did not cheat. Where's my junior class at? Sophina's team lost because she messed up the word. Hail to a mama made of a I slightly lost it for the team, but I'm gonna admit it because okay, so the word is alma mater. But I didn't know that, I'm sorry. It, I said alma mater, which sounds pretty cool too. Also, during our performance, she was yelling and screaming I things. was yelling for them. So she was saying boo was, and- No, no, I have it on tape. No. Hey, you say West, you say Wood. West, Wood, West, Wood. Here's evidence. We had John Wooden on the phone. <laughs> Love you, but you just gotta accept you. You lost. She will conquer every rainbow to the blue and to the gold. Yo, boom! I'm a fair loser. It's normal for Soph to be very loud, and you didn't really come to a conclusion on who won, but you were still able to hug it out, right? Yeah, of course. Soph's one of my closest friends, so even though it may look like we were fighting, <laughs> I love the girl. So our last meet was Pac-12s, and we got second at that meet. Little disappointed, we obviously did not want to finish second, but we had a lot of highlights of the meet, at least the things that I noticed. What were the highlights for you? Um, I think Sadika, she was feeling a little bit, well actually she was feeling really sick before the meet and she yeah. still pulled out a really good floor routine. And yeah. um, It just shows how prepared she's been the entire yeah. season, that rain or shine, yeah. sick or not sick, you know, she can make an amazing floor routine, which is really inspiring. It was great. And you oh. were amazing at beam oh. and floor. Thanks, Hallie. Despite the mistakes that we made, um, yeah. you really pulled it together and Thanks, went Hallie. big. No, I, I'm really proud of our beam team yeah. and just just pulling it together. Like you said, mm -hmm. we did have mistakes on each event, and the, each other, the rest of the people in lineup were able to have each other's backs and um, make up for it, and just do the best that they could do, and not really focus on the little mistakes that we had. Yeah. And I think that's going to be crucial coming into regionals and in CAA's. You know, if there is a little hiccup, if there is a mistake, yeah. we know that we can pick up right where we left off and yeah. still have a really great meet. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you guys are as excited as we are for regionals and nationals, but follow us on the road this Saturday as we take on the first round of the NCAA championships. Mm -hmm.